People of Character, Martin Luther King Jr., A Life of Fairness. You have probably heard of Martin Luther King Jr. There is a street or school named for him in almost every state in the country. There is even a holiday named after him. But do you know why he is famous? Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929, in Atlanta, Georgia. At that time, African Americans didn't have the same rights as white people. They could not eat in the same restaurants as whites or go to the same schools. This didn't stop Martin. He went to segregated schools and got many degrees. He loved to learn. After his schooling, Martin became a pastor at a church in Montgomery, Alabama. He began to speak about fairness for black people. He told people to take a stand against racism. People were moved by his powerful words, and he was asked to speak to groups all around Montgomery. One day, Martin heard about Rosa Parks. Rosa was arrested for not giving her seat to a white person on a bus in Montgomery. This act set off a boycott. African American people in Montgomery wouldn't ride the buses until laws changed. They needed someone to lead them in protest. Martin was chosen to lead the protest. He encouraged the protesters to fight for their rights. He told them the best weapons were words and peaceful actions. After a year, the laws were changed and the bus boycott finally ended. Martin was seen as a hero. His powerful words had brought change. This was the start of the Civil Rights Movement. The Civil Rights Movement was a time when many black people fought for equal rights. Martin always encouraged people to protest in peaceful ways. For example, when black people were told they couldn't eat at the same restaurant as white people, they held a sit-in. Protesters filled the seats of the restaurant. They wouldn't leave even though people shouted and threw things at them. These types of quiet protests got the world's attention. Martin was always leading the way. Martin protested peacefully, but many people were violent towards him. His words about fairness angered them. His home was bombed. He was beaten. He was attacked by dogs. Some of the people who marched with him were hurt and even killed. It was a scary time. Martin never became violent. He inspired people with his wise and peaceful words. He went to Washington, D.C. to speak for equal rights. A half million people gathered to hear him speak. He told them about his dream that one day, America would be a place where all people were treated fairly. He imagined a day when no one would be judged by the color of his or her skin. People cheered for his dream. Martin was awarded a Nobel Peace Prize that recognized his work for peace. Many people believed in Martin's dream. Others did not. They wanted things to stay the same. Martin was killed on April 4, 1968. His powerful voice was silenced. Still, the civil rights movement moved on, and more laws were changed. Many people say Martin's powerful words won the movement. Martin spoke out for fairness. He fought for change with words instead of violence. Today, people still remember Martin. How do you remember him? Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.